Homeowners in multinational village have strongly condemned a pre-dawn police raid on their country club, claiming more than 200 officers from the Southern Police District illegally entered the property to reinstate ousted President Arnel Caputan. The raid, which took place around 5 a.m., has sparked outrage within the community, with residents accusing authorities of overreach. Julio Templo Nuevo, the newly elected president of the Multinational Village Homeowners Association, Incorporated, told reporters that the raid occurred outside of regular office hours, leaving no association officials present to intervene. Despite objections from homeowners, police allegedly forced their way into the premises. According to Templo Nuevo, Gakutan was permanently disqualified from holding office by the Court of Appeals and the Human Settlements Adjudication Commission orchestrated the raid in a bid to reclaim his former position. The disqualification first sounded down in April 2021 and reaffirmed in June 2024, cited Gakutan's consistent failure to disclose the association's financial records. Despite these legal setbacks, Gakutan has reportedly sought the assistance of the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development, particularly to its NCR officer in charge, Attorney Norma Jacinto Dural, to regain control of the association. This comes after another recent legal victory for the MVHAI board, which saw the HSAC rule against Gakutan's claim to leadership in a separate case. The community's concerns about Gakutan extend beyond the legal arena. In 2005, he faced scrutiny from the House of Representatives Committee on Dangerous Drugs over allegations of illegal drug labs within the village, leading to his detention for failure to submit tax records to explain his lifestyle. More recently, residents have accused Gakutan of allowing unregulated pogo operations to flourish in the village, contributing to unauthorized construction and zoning violations. Gakutan's tenure has also been marked by financial mismanagement, according to homeowners. They allege that he illegally froze the association's bank accounts, leading to essential services such as water being cut off due to unpaid bills. To protect the community, residents have been forced to hire private security at significant costs to guard against Gakutan's ongoing attempts to seize control, allegedly using illegal settlers and local government employees to support his efforts. One of the most contentious issues during Gakutan's presidency was his decision to grant the right of way to Willie King of Century Marina Property Development Corporation, allowing access to village infrastructure for a nearby project. Homeowners claimed the deal, worth 15 million pesos, was made without their approval and is not reflected in the association's financial records. As tensions escalate, Homeowners are questioning why Gakutan is so determined to return to a position with no salary or official benefits. Many believe his push for power is tied to potential gains from future development projects around the village. The continued efforts by DHSUD officials to install Gakutan as president have only deepened suspicions of a hidden agenda. Residents are now calling on local authorities to intervene and protect their rights. They're determined to prevent what they see as a coordinated attempt to undermine their community and take control of their resources. Current PH News Update.